Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! All that in the next hour. But first today, Westminster's most glamorous blonde has been turning heads again. Boris Johnson announced his decision to back a vote to leave in his own newspaper, The Daily Telegraph. And many of the other papers splashed on Boris's decision too. The Sun described it as a blonde bombshell, but others saw the move as more about Boris's own ambitions. The Mirror said that the move was Bojo's bid for PM's crown. The Mail said it was a dagger blow to Cameron as Boris goes in for the kill. And the Independent declared the London mayor as out for himself. Speaking outside his home yesterday, Mr Johnson declared his intention to back the Leave campaign. I've decided after a huge amount of, of heartache because I did not want to do anything. I, I wanted, the last thing I wanted uh, was to go against uh, David Cameron or the government. But after a great deal of, of heartache, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I will be advocating uh, vote leave uh, or whatever the, the team is called. There's many, I understand there are many of them. I, I think they're, they're, that, is, that is basically because I want a better deal for the people of this country. To save them money and to take back control. That's really, I think, what this is all, uh, this is all about. The Mayor of London, Boris Johnson. Well, we can speak now to our Deputy Political Editor, James Landell. So, is it all about his leadership ambitions or is this authentic Boris going for leave? I think it's authentic that Boris Johnson is f uh, very much agonising over this decision for many, many months because he's always been agonising about Europe for as long as I've known him. I worked in Brussels with him when he was a journalist. I was a journalist there too. Um, he began life as a very straight reporter before he became somebody who cre almost created this genre of Eurosceptic journalism. I can remember talking to him when he voted for Ken Clark, a pro-European mm. leadership candidate in the past. So I think that sense of agony is authentic. What I think uh, overlays that though, is a, a strong suspicion amongst many Conservative members that he's not just thinking about the national interest, he's also thinking about his own interest. And so a uh, lot of people think that uh, whatever happens, he will have aligned himself with the Leave campaign. That, what, whether win or lose, will place him in good favour with Tory members who, remember, will be the people who will choose David Cameron's uh, uh, replacement. Uh, and that will be no bad thing for if, say, Mr Johnson wished to be a candidate in that selection process. Because even in his article where he's written about this agonising decision, there seems to be a little bit of continuing to hedge his bets with implications that a, a comment's been interpreted that you could go for a second referendum if the UK voted to leave. That would put more pressure on Brussels for a better deal. Yeah, and Boris has floated this idea before and it was squashed by the government. Essentially, the argument is this, that you have a, a vote, you vote, Britain would vote to leave. That would sort of basically be the, uh, the only way of getting Brussels to really renegotiate properly. And though Britain could then have a second referendum once it's negotiated a bet better terms of EU membership. And in his article in the Daily Telegraph today, Mr Johnson uh, nods to this in a very nuanced, subtle way. I have to say the Prime Minister's official spokesman this morning said, uh, no, this is a, you know, this is a one-off vote. If you vote, if Britain votes to leave, they will leave. And I have to say a lot of lawyers and constitutional experts also say that, you know, a vote for leave is a vote for leave, that a, a second referendum simply wouldn't be possible. How angry is number 10? Obviously, publicly, they're saying they're relaxed about it. That was the phrase that used. And how delighted is the Leave campaign? Uh, number 10 are not happy. They know that uh, the, uh, Boris Johnson is one of those politicians who can reach out, get those other voters that uh, might otherwise have been swayed by the Prime Minister's arguments. They know that Boris can get his voice out there. And polls do suggest that people will listen to his voice. Um, so the Leave campaign are very, very happy because they think they've finally got a champion, a figurehead. I think the question is this. Do people look at Boris Johnson and think, nice bloke for London Mayor, or, and will they listen to the arguments he makes about Europe? The other question is this. If his presence means that this referendum is shrouded in a debate about the future Tory leadership, will Mr Johnson's 
presence here put David Cameron's future on the ballot paper too? And what impact will that have on the electorate? If they think, oh, if I vote to leave Europe, does that mean I lose David Cameron? And what, what other consequences may, maybe are there? So there are lots of consequences that we, I don't think we fully appreciated yet of Mr Johnson's decision. Well, we've got weeks to pour over it, of course. James, thank you. I've been getting away with it all.